welcome to another Nick A video. The patch notes for the next update are out and I'm going to discuss them. Please leave a like and a sub and I hope you enjoy the video. So here is the update. It's going to happen on May 16th at 1100 to 1500 hours. So just a very short duration there. And obviously the main things first here is going to be the major update starring the new character Trony here. And I'll read what it says. It says SSR Trony, a pioneer in the electrical engineering field, joins special recruit. Trony is an attacker who uses sniper rifle weapons. Trony accumulates damage over time, unleash it all at once through a cumulative damage skill dealing damage to enemies. Class attacker, weapon transistor, sniper rifle, code fire, manufactured missilis. And just like with all featured banners, you do have a 4% chance to get an SSR unit with a 2% chance to get Trony herself. Obviously, every single pull you do, you do happen to get golden tickets. If you actually want to go ahead and use, use those golden tickets to go ahead and purchase the unit, you can. It takes 200 of them. You just go to the shop and immediately get her. Most of the time, people usually use those golden tickets to get limited units or pilgrims, but it's up to you. Maybe you really like this unit and want her immediately. You can do it. But also, please remember that she is not a limited unit. She's going to be back on the regular banner as soon as her feature banner is over. But let me just quickly talk a little bit about what they put here for the introduction. Since right now, at the, currently as a recording, they haven't really given us out her skill kit or anything like that. But based on what I'm reading out here, it looks something like very similar to what uh, Dorothy does and a few others as well. The more damage they do over time, that pretty much they unleash it. And in, in, in terms of Dorothy, you know, she brands them. Everybody attacks the branded unit and then unleashes this very powerful attack. So it's going to look, it's probably going to be something like that. I don't know if she's going to brand the enemies, but if not, Elleg has something that could actually boost this damage too. So pretty much, I think they're going to be buddy buddies as well. I don't know how exactly well they're going to work. I mean, it might be another like bunnies or schoolgirl situation there is possible, but if not, only time will tell. I can't wait to see how she actually plays out. Let me go to this next part here, which is going to be temporary participating Nick Gaze. It says during the special recruit, you have a chance to temporarily add Nick Gaze in the pickup recruitment into your squad for union shooting range. So pretty much every single time there's a new featured banner, the featured unit goes ahead and be places into the shooting range and also other modes as well. So you can try them out. That's pretty much all they're saying here. So pretty much the ones that are right there right now, which is going to be crowned. She's going to leave and then going to put Trony in her place. All right, next up is going to be the new events here, which is going to be Dark Hero. It goes from the 16th all the way to the 30th. After returning from the Art Gaming Expo, Trony enjoys peaceful days alongside fellow gamers. To commemorate her first meeting with Elig, she prepares a gift. Players can enter the Dark Hero event page and clear stages to obtain event items, which can be used to exchange various rewards such as recruit vouchers and skill enhancement materials in the event shop. So pretty much just like every single event, just going to do the stages, you know, you're going to get event currency with those event currencies. You go to the shop, you could get regular vouchers, event crew vouchers, consoles, all that stuff. So make sure to do the event and get those free rewards. All right, next up is going to be challenge stages. And just like every single event, there is a challenge stage where here is going to be pretty much the duration of the event from the 16th on the 30th. Unfortunately, they don't really tell us what the challenge stage boss is. They pretty much said it's going to be available during the event. And that's it. I wonder who it's going to be. And hopefully you guys had good luck defeating Stormbringer there in the current event. All right, now let's go to the next one here. It's going to be the seven day login bonus and it says Digi Cat Adventure. So it goes from the 16th to the 30th. And just like with all login bonuses, uh, pretty much you have the whole duration of the event to get those seven days. You don't have to collect the rewards. You just have to make sure to log in and just see it and that's it. And based on what I'm reading out here, it's pretty much going to be regular recruit vouchers and also like, you know, gems and all this other stuff too. It's going to be like the regular stuff there. All right, next up is going to be a brand new event archives called High Tech Toys. Story event High Tech Toys is now available in event archives. Participate in Dark Hero to obtain memory films, which can be used to unlock story events in the archives. So in case you guys don't remember the high tech toys, this came out a long time ago. This is like one of the first few events. I think it was the second event in the game. It started the Matisse squad there. So it was like Drake, Laplace, and also Maxwell. Um, I'm trying to remember what exactly happened. I think I had to do something with uh, finding some disappearing mass produced Nick A's up in the surface. And then they found out who was doing it. And they had to like defeat this tyrant, like this tyrant class for um, Rapture. Or something like that. It's been a long time. I do remember the mini game though, where pretty much it sort of looked like Monopoly. You had to roll the dice, and then there was this very annoying uh, negative one square that would force you to go back to this negative square that would reduce your points every single time. I don't think they're bringing the mini game back, but that's what I do remember about the high tech toys. All right, next up is going to be Union Raid, which is going to be on the 17th here. It says challenge the boss with your union members, collect union chips, and exchange rewards. This goes from the 17th to the 22nd. And also, please be aware they have to be at least in a level three union. So also as well, make sure your union is actually active. So go check your member list. If there has been members that haven't been playing for a long time, or maybe the leader is not very active, uh, you might want to jump ship. Or if not, make sure to take over leadership if you're able to, because this is very, very important. 
especially going to be playing the game for a long time. You want those unit chips so you can go ahead and buy batteries or if not spare bodies in the shop. And luckily they have already put the full lineup for this union raid. It's going to be a uh, thermite beta, dual ring, the train, rebuild stout and ultra. So those five are going to be the latest bosses for the latest union raid there. All right. Next up is going to be coordinated operations. And it says form a team of five commanders and challenge the boss jobber box together. Players can either team up with friends and union members or join the challenge through automatic matchmaking. You know, just make sure to go ahead and participate this. This, starts, this goes from the 17th to the 19th. Make sure to participate. Even if you're not a strong commander, don't worry. Everybody will carry you. Majority of the people just want this done and be over with and that was it. So make sure to participate with these broken cores. You know, you could go ahead and you could go to the shop, get, you know, free gems, free core dust, free, a bunch of free stuff. So just make sure to participate. You get three tries per day. There's three days. Also remember on the last day, the co-op ends early then, since for some reason, um, they start the co-op a little bit after um, reset, maybe like six to eight hours. So please keep in mind for the last day, you might want to play the co-op a little bit early on the last day. All right, next up, we're going to be looking at new commodities. New character packages will be available after the May 16th maintenance. So it goes from the 16th all the way to the 30th. And pretty much this is for people who only actually pay to play in the game, you know, who, are, who buy those extra packages. Just like how they do every single event. You know, you, you could buy packages that have like advanced recruit vouchers, extra jams, skill material, stuff like that. So if you actually pay, then you'll, you know, you'll be happy that there's going to be new packages. If you don't, then this does not concern you. All right. Lastly, it's going to be optimization and misc updates. Details, information regarding optimizations and bug fixes will be given upon completion of the maintenance. And just like how they do with every single update, they don't actually tell us what bugs they're fixing since they, since they don't want us to abuse those bugs. So that's the only reason why they don't tell us here. As soon as the update rolls out, or it's going to be very close to rolling out. They'll go ahead and tell us what we're missing. You know what what they're going to be updating on the update all right that's pretty much it here i mean it's not a huge update since we did have the one one and a half year anniversary just come out not long ago but luckily we do get the high-tech toys coming back here we get a brand new event dark hero not only that we get this very lovely cutie pie trony into the game i know she wasn't in npc jail that long compared to some other nikkeis for example k she's been there a long time but luckily she is going to come back to the game and i cannot wait to see her kit and how well she does since she is a cutie pie and other than that hopefully you guys are excited about troni i mean as i know for you fee fans you will be very happy about troni but if not you know if not please be aware that she is not a limited unit so she will be put back into the regular pool all right that's pretty much it the, the update was really really short but if not we should be expecting a dev notes pretty soon too hopefully all right that's pretty much it hopefully you enjoy the video i'm scrub lord and i'll see you in the next one it's lovely weather outside today Perfect day to stay inside and play some games.